My name is Happiness Nano. I am a four year student from the School of IFBT, Food Science and Technology. Um, I'm also the founder of Kijana Jasiri Foundation. This is a non profit organization that aims at creating awareness on mental health among the youths and teenagers in Kenya. What inspired me to start Kijana Jasiri Foundation was my childhood history. I underwent body shaming during my teenage years. That's because I was born with a rare condition known as hemihypertrophy. So it mostly projects on the left side of the body. So I had issues adjusting with only coming to accept myself, my body image, um, the criticism, the many questions from people, why this, why that. So. Yes, my parents did try a lot to at least bring to bring forth the knowledge of what I was going through and the changes that would come with it. But unfortunately, one way or another, I got into I started developing mental health issues such as anxiety, depression, which to which I didn't even realize I was going through such stages. Up and until around my that year in high school, that's when I decided to come out clean with whatever I was going through. I opened up to now clearly opening up what I was going through to my parents, also to a few professionals who at least helped me gain my confidence back slowly by slowly. So in my first year here at the Dankimathi University, that's where at least I got an opportunity to interact with people and that's where the whole idea of creating a platform where youths can speak about their issues that they are going through mentally came to mind. So in 2019, late 2019, the Nadasri Foundation was born. Uh, it started in Kiambu County, but currently based in Nyeri County. So what we do is normally reach out to youths and teenagers across the country, not necessarily the two counties, but we reach out to them, create a safe space for them, as we also collaborate with other psychologists and professionals. We offer mentorship sessions, training, um, training platforms for people to get at least more and more knowledge on mental health. So basically we are aiming at creating awareness on mental health with the knowledge and information about mental health at least will reduce the stigma surrounding mental health. Yeah. We have like fully registered youths, we have around 50, but we also have volunteers who, okay, we normally advocate for volunteers coming forth and then once you feel comfortable with sticking around or it's something that you want to push through with, now we do the registration process. But our program so far we've reached out to roughly around a thousand people with the different trainings that we've had and opportunities that we've been given to you by the Jasiri Foundation, um, I can start by, I was nominated for the Scream Awards 2020, um, Initiative of the Year Award. And then, um, okay, I didn't win, but at least it was a milestone. Then. The next thing I was nominated for the Cortex Shikan Award 2020 where we, um, we were nominated and voted for by the public so I managed to gain that award and right now we are going through that program. It's normally a one year program where you now get an opportunity through Cortex to mentor other youths who are going through different mental health issues is the first step to recovery is speaking up. Um, I might not know what you're going through mentally, so most people hide behind the fake smiles and jovial or being so much active. Even actually most people who have mental health issues, you can't even tell from the way they look. So the first step is speaking about it, um, also reaching out to, even though it's not a professional, at least an, an advocate who can refer you to a professional so that you can seek help. It's never too late to seek help. Anyone who would want to be part of Kijana Jasiri Foundation, you can reach out to us via our social media platforms. 
on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Kijana Jasiri Foundation. Also through our website www.kijanajasirifoundation.org. Yeah.